skill and then go out there and find a job. You need not go on for a four-year degree, okay? Um, that's what we need. But the thing is, as these people are being retrained, if they're heads of households and if they have a home, what are you going to do? You know, you're not going to pay their mortgage. Now, I do know from when I was laid off, okay, the bank has a program where as long as you pay the taxes. Interest. The interest on the loan, on the mortgage. Okay, what they do is they just, for every month you do that, they add an extra month to your uh, 25 or 30 years, whatever it is that you have. But for a lot of people, they can't even afford to pay the interest. Yeah, I don't know about the program, but I've heard something about things like that. You know, but um, so every chance they got, they tried to, you know, I, the, the, at the debate, they tried to knock down Obama. And, uh, you know, one, and another thing that was said by by the um, uh, by the reporters after the debate yesterday, they said, never in history have you seen a group of po- prospective candidates uh, talk Partial down. Partial birth abortion. The eliminating of, of abortion in the third trimester. You got to think about that. Talk down to uh, and have such disrespect for a sitting president. Uh Clinton never talked down or said anything bad about George H.W. Bush, you know, number 41. Bush never knocked Clinton, never said anything about, I'm talking about W, never said anything about Clinton and his scandal and being impeached. And Obama never said anything about George W. But these candidates, wherever possible, are trying, you know, they just have no respect at all for the office and no respect for the person who's in there. So that was brought out. Also, uh, one of the things that was uh, surprising a lot of people that uh, the president never mentioned anything about the 10 sailors who were captured. That's right, and they, they were let go, actually, the following, he, the State of the Union was Tuesday, by, by Wednesday they were freed. But he should Okay, uh, but you know, they, the, the, the Republicans made sure to say what a terrible sight it was to see 10 American sailors on their knees and, and with their hands over their heads and, and being... Uh, placed in such an embarrassing position. What's more embarrassing, I think, is the president didn't say anything about it. I think I think it would have been proper for him to say something, you know, we hope, you know, give a word of encouragement or say something about it, not just act like it didn't exist, because this is a big thing that happened. Here well, we are, we're signing... Uh, yeah, the treaty is going to affect with Iberia, with uh, Iran in four days, and they captured your know, two uh, two boats of ours. Well, you see, and what what else gets me is you know somebody sent this around on uh, Facebook. They said we can bring. All right, we have a caller. Let's see who it is. Hello, caller. How are you tonight? Area 407. All right. What's up? Hi. Hey, not too much. How you doing? Good. Okay. What's that? What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, this is Ed. I'm from Florida. Hey, oh, Ed, welcome. You? You've called once you before. You called huh? before, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I called you guys before. Okay. Yeah, lots of times. Right. Okay. I haven't talked to you in a few months, but last yeah. year I talked to you a few times. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. How you been? Yeah. What's on your mind? Uh, I was just talking about the uh, the debate yesterday. What do you think? You like uh, 
any of the Republican candidates? Well, I'll tell you, uh, <laughs> there isn't that much choice anymore. It's getting uh, our, uh, yeah. our buddy, the uh, Paul, who's the only uh, libertarian, is gone. If I remember right, you, you no, 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 no. He said he. Well, was, no, he's, no, he's he, still in the race. Right, well, I he, know. He, but... he, he, he did not want to. Uh, he did not want to go on a small stage because, really, you know, it, it's the media that picks the guys. It, there's like twenty. How many different polls? A thousand polls. I'm using this poll. No, I want that poll. I want this poll. I want. And the polling is just a bunch of crap, anyways. Yeah. So it's just like yeah, you know. But I and, think it's and Rand worse. said, yeah. you know, if you're not going to allow me to b- debate on the main stage, I'm not going to play your game at all. You know. You know, and is... I heard Rand on some of the stations, and and Rand, you know, that's who I personally, you know, prefer to have in as president. But um, I don't really see our hope in D.C. I call D.C. the district of corruption. <laughs> They're all corrupt. I mean, if you think there's still corruption going on in D.C., if you don't think it has sort of last Republican, uh, well, before Boehner, he's going, he might be going to jail, the last Republican leader. Boehner's resigned in great disgrace. Ryan Lyon. I mean, they're all just, you know, <laughs> it's a district of corruption. Well, you know, now okay. you know, that, well, that's, that's, that's why Congress has a 9% approval rating. Right. I mean, do you guys love Congress? <laughs> Get out of here. These guys are but They're a joke. They're here to rob us. There's two gangs. Jesse Fanjora says best in his book about uh, uh, Democrips and re blutocrats. There's just two <laughs> gangs out there sucking the blood, up the yeah, people. Bloods man. and the Crips, right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's a beautiful book. Yeah. And that's what we're up against, you know. Yeah, well. Because, you know, they don't care about freedom. But, you know, I've been working a lot on states' rights and states' and all vacation. And uh, chrisannhall.com would be one site I would recommend you to go to. Chris with a K. Chris, she's a wonderful person out here in Florida. And the Tenth yeah. Amendment Center. And we're working on, you know, bringing Actually, back nullification just, and states' rights. And just, the states aren't nullifying bad federal law. Because, you know, it, it's basically most of the laws they make are very bad and they need to be nullified. I'll tell you, it's, uh, I sort of miss uh, Paul, though. He's... What's that? I miss Paul. So what's yeah, much... well, Paul, you know, he should have been on a debate, cause he, he, and he adds to it, and it was stupid to leave him off, you yeah, know, because uh, well, he, he brings a different position. Yeah, bring and he even the... said that, because I, I listened to him on uh day before yesterday on Mike Gallagher's show, talk radio show, and he's, Mike, you know, Asked me, and Paul says, "Look, I'm not going to go on a baby show. Uh, you know these polls aren't right. I should be on the mainstream, you know, show. And if you're not going to put me there, I'm not going. But he's still running, and he's going well, yeah, to think... surprise people. He, he's know... not out of the race. He's going to surprise people because we haven't even got a vote yet. The vote's yeah. still, I uh, was well, still two and a half weeks away, and and Paul probably finished fourth or third. You know, you know, and, you, and, and I can say, well, you know, what's Ed, me up on a stage? Ed, he's one of he's one of the few that are running. You know, when they when the Republican Party did their uh, autopsy, where they have to be more inclusive. But of course, if you listen to them talking, they're not being inclusive at all. Uh, Paul is the only one to go to Howard University and other black colleges and speak. You know, I mean, right. he's trying oh, yeah. to get his message and out. He, and that's where he's trying to reach out. He's trying to make a big umbrella. That's and right. saying, hey, you know what? This this regime toppling doesn't work. We shouldn't try to topple Assad. You know, that's not what our, our goal is anymore. We shouldn't try to knock everybody off. It just opens up holes for ISIS. And, you know, if you, listen, a- if you listen to the State of the Union... Obama basically said the same thing. He didn't talk about the things that were accomplished. He spoke about an America of the future, the kind of America that we want to bring our children into, where they have some hope, okay? And he said, you know, this whole thing about, you know, dropping uh, dropping labels, in other words, Democrat, Republican, Independent. He says, we all face the same problems, 
no matter what we are. Why can't, you know, basically the old, why can't we work, learn to work together? Well, he's got to learn to work together also, and he admitted it that he wasn't too good at it. Well, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He, was, he wasn't uh, receptive or open to certain things, but then again, neither was the Republican Party. And when you re- remember what Mitch McConnell right. said when Obama was being sworn in, Mitch McConnell said his job is to make Obama a one-term president. So, I mean, there were so many things working against him. Okay, I mean, and who was suffering? We the people, just like the Constitution says, we the people, you know. Um, and, and Obama even said in the speech, he, he, he was throwing a dig out at uh, the senators and congressmen. And he said, where else can you work for 20 or 30 years and have all this time off and be guaranteed a pension? You know, he was talking about Congress. Of course. You know. Yeah. Well, it's true. Where else? There's well, no yeah. else. Unfortunately, we have too much government. And, and, you know, Obama did not do anything about getting less government. He put more government on us. There are now 4.1 million federal employees. There's only 3 million people who live in the state of Iowa. When the founders founded this country, there was only less than four million people, and you know, and wrote the Constitution. Now we have all these employees in D.C., and nobody's willing to cut it. Both Republicans and Democrats built this giant D.C. mess that American people are no longer happy with, and we need to start pulling a plug on it. Well, what you know, what but we <clears throat> what we what we saw in the past was that. You know, it used to be Republican administrations would cut back government employees and Democratic, uh, the, the, the Democratic Party would increase government employees. But ever since George W., you know, I mean, uh, he increased. Both parties. That's right. They both exactly. increased, you know. And that's our problem. We need to downsize D.C. It's a district of corruption. <laughs> and everybody realizes it's a district of corruption. And this corruption's got to stop. But, you know, uh, I don't know how it's, you know. And, and the fact that we're not even watching our own borders is ridiculous. I mean, to have, you know, it's like we're worried about everybody else. And we don't even watch our own borders. That's, that's a... Uh, a sign of uh, a downfall coming. Well, you know, Trump tr- Trump said uh, his wife happened to point out to him that uh, he was the first one, obviously, to talk about building the wall, okay, to keep the Mexicans out. And then... Well, you know, we don't need a wall. We need our, we need troops on there, and we can stop it immediately. Well, I we look, both, because it's a, there's no way troops could cover all those borders. First of all, oh no, they can't. Well, you know, they can not just troops, but Black Hawk helicopters, everything we send to Iraq and Afghanistan to try to rule those nations. If we put it down on our border, if what we spent in, in the Iraq, um, Afghanistan wars, if we put that on our borders, we can shut it down. There's no doubt about it. Well, if you put our good military men and our good equipment there, we can shut it down. Yeah. Immediately. Well, you know, I still think a wall would be more efficient, or some kind of fencing, or something. Well, you know, we can while we build it, you can, you know, oh, you yeah, can build a wall it, while you're guarding it. Yeah, but course. first, shut it down immediately. Well, you know, uh, that would be one way to put Americans back to work. That's for sure. Yes. Yes. You know, I mean, and, you, you, can, and, and you can talk to Mexico and say, look, if you're with us. You're going, to, you're going to help us guard this border. If you're not, we're going to guard it on our own because we realize that you're the enemy. Well, it's as much to their advantage to guard the border as it is for us. Right. You know. They do probably a better job than we do. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised, really. Yeah, hey, listen, they caught Chapo's, didn't they? Yeah, they're trying to get Chapo up here. 
Yeah, because they're afraid they're going to well, escape again in their jails. They figured no, no 